Get $3 off every order at PlayAsia by using the code CENSORED. Hello, Warren from Censored Gaming here. Yakuza 0 has recently seen its Western release and received glowing reviews from the media, with many praising the title's authentic localization. Localization, though, is never easy work, and the website Game Informer has managed to catch up with Sega producers Scott Strykehart and Sam Mullen and learn about some of the challenges they face, as well as a few other interesting details about the game's localization. First things first. We'd just like to give an extra special look at this answer, which sees Strikeart talk about whether any content had to be removed outside of Japan. As Censored Gaming has previously reported, there were no edits made to the Western release, but Strikeart's response gives even more insight into this and the thought process involved in choosing to keep everything the same as in Japan. To quote, No, I can't think of anything we would have cut. If anything, when we said we were bringing over the softcore video segments, there was really nothing else beyond that that made us think, well, that's too extreme, gotta cut that, so we brought the game over in its entirety, 100% of the content. It's definitely notable how Strikehard completely dismisses the idea of having to cut any of the content. Also, for those not already aware, the discussed video segments are real-life video clips such as these, which you can view in the game's adult movie store. Next, the pair discuss some of the challenges they face bringing the game to Western audiences, with Mullen pointing towards the difficulty they had in playing catch-up. Yakuza 0 was released in the US two years after the Japanese version, and for Yakuza 5 it took even longer, with it taking three years. Strikeart, on the other hand, talks about localizing the dialogue and not only having to keep it authentic, but make it understandable for Western audiences. As they kept the original Japanese voice acting, every single line had to be looked at and configured for Western players, while trying to maintain the authenticity of the actor's performance. More challenges were encountered with dividing localization up between the two protagonists, Kiryu and Majima. Sega had to make distinct differences between the two main characters to make each stand out as their own character. Kiryu serves as the straight man, tough but honorable, and he likes to keep to himself, while Majima is the more sarcastic businessman. Majima's Osakan accent helps with the difference between the two protagonists. In that respect, Sega found Yakuza 0 to be a lot more compact in comparison to Yakuza 5 which spread out amongst a large cast of characters. Next, why does Yakuza have such a strong cult following in the US? The producers explain Yakuza's strong cult following stemming from how complex and diverse the series is, constantly bouncing back and forth between mature themes and over-the-top set pieces. To many outsiders, the game appears as Grand Theft Auto in Japan, but upon playing it, Western gamers are met with something unique. Its authenticity to Japan is what makes it so unique, and that was of the utmost importance to Sega when localizing the game. More interesting details are revealed when asked about Yakuza Kiwami, the upcoming remake of the first Yakuza game. The original Yakuza from way back in 2006 contained an English dub in the West. For the remake, though, Sega insists on sticking with the Japanese talents. The Japanese dub has actually been re-recorded as well, due to the characters' tones and vocalizations changing over the past 10 years. Yakuza Kiwami is a PS4 exclusive and was released in Japan January 21st. It will be coming to the West sometime in the summer. For the full interview, make sure to check out Game Informer, which will be linked in the description. And until next time, thank you for watching.